spectrophotometry or spectrophotometer is a uh, it's a instrument that uh, take the advantage of a color solutions that uh, absorb a specific wavelength of light so the main principle of spectrophotometer is that a polychromatic light coming from this light source is passes through the monochromator uh, the function of monochromator is that it uh, takes the polychromatic light and um, convert it into a individual uh, wavelength and this uh, dispersing device or the prism uh, prism uh, uh, disperse the different wavelength at different angle okay then there is a wavelength selector that only transmit the desired wavelength and the desired wavelength is absorbed by the sample solution and there is a photo uh, photometer that detects the amount of photon absorbed by the sample solution and display in a digital display so this is how the spectrophotometer works and it tells us about the any concentration of a uh, solution how there is a for example there is a law that is beers lambert law the beers lambert law state that the absorbance okay the absorbance of light by a sample solution is directly proportional to the uh, the thickness of the path length okay or the concentration of the solution so we can say the absorbance is equals to minus log t that is minus log i t by i 0 so the beard's lambert's law is a equals to epsilon lc where a is the absorbance which has no unit epsilon is the molar extension coefficient l is the path length and c is the concentration so concentra uh, l has a unit of centimeter and l has a unit of uh, sorry concentration has a unit of uh, like a mole per liter and epsilon is a un has a unit of liter per mole per centimeter okay so what are the application of this spectrophotometer so it can detect the concentration of any substance it can detect the impurities and also it can characterize the proteins molecular weight determination of a compound and monitoring the dissolved oxygen in fresh water so this is about spectrophotometer